Hi, my name is Becca. Welcome to my video series, Everyday English, Every Day. Here you get to have or listen to authentic conversations with real people, right, to practice English. The idea is that you do something every day, that you're consistent with your learning. So find at least 10 minutes a day to practice. Okay, so we're going to talk about mantras. We're going to listen to a conversation I had with one of my learners in a private session. We're going to talk about making mantras to live by. Is that my dog's mantra? <laughs> and for a little more, we're going to talk about some proverbs. Okay, so we need to talk about what is a mantra. So we're going to talk about two different meanings of this word. A mantra can be a word or sound that's repeated to aid concentration in meditation. So when something's repeated, it's said over and over. And if it aids in concentration, it like helps you focus. Okay. So maybe something like, um, but today we're going to talk about mantras that are an affirmation to motivate and inspire you to be your best self. Okay. So let's practice some mantras. Repeat after me. I am always offered awesome opportunities. I'm in control of my emotions. I'm happy, healthy, safe, relaxed, and loved. I speak English awesomely. I easily answer all questions people ask me. I spend time with those who bring out the best in me. Okay, so notice these are all statements. They're positive statements, okay? Um, now, I speak e English awesomely. Now, if you're learning a language, it's important to have a positive mindset. It's super bad, right, to say things like, oh, I'm so bad at English, oh, I don't know English. No, you're learning English. You're doing an awesome job for where you are right now, okay? If you want to improve, you have to put the work in. So keep the right mindset, okay? Um, we're going to look at a conversation I had with one of my learners, okay? So she talks about a desire she has, and then we're going to show how that we can turn, you know, a sentence into a mantra, okay? So let's listen to the conversation I had with my learner. Mm -hmm. okay. So both of them are correct, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, next, uh, next sentence. Mm -hmm. I know that action plan and belief in myself can help me to become great. Uh, I don't know what is, uh, what is uh, connection between myself uh, can help me. It's correct. Okay, tell, give me the sentence. I, I was listening, but give me the sentence one more time to totally have it. Tell me. Okay, I know that action, action plan and belief in myself can help me to become great. Yeah, beautiful. It's okay or no? Yeah. All right, so I think it's awesome, right? My student's mantra. Okay, let's listen to it one more time. So that, I'm just gonna say, an action plan. Uh, an action plan. And belief mm -hmm. in myself can help me become great. Yeah, I love it. That's a great sentence. That should be, that should be um, a mantra, right? Mm-hmm. So I think this is your mantra. My action plan and my belief in myself. Okay. Hold on. Let's change uh -huh. it to all positive. Make me, you said it correctly, but I want to do it this way because we need to speak like it's already happened or like it's mm -hmm. part of your everyday life. So now we just wake up every morning and we say, my action plan and my belief in myself make me great. Mm -hmm. It's your new mantra. Okay. So notice how we had the desire, right? She likes having an action plan and the belief in herself and those things make her great. But when we have a mantra, we want to be direct, okay? We want to say things as if they've already happened, as if we're living them, okay? So let's check out some tips on how to create a mantra, how to, how to write a mantra. Okay, so write down the thing you desire most. What do you want? 
Do you want financial freedom? Do you want a loving home environment? Do you want awesome opportunities at work? Do you want to be able to interview using English perfectly? Or let's not say perfectly because there's no such thing as speaking perfectly. I make tons of mistakes in English too, right? So do you want to speak English confidently? That's better. Okay, so write down what you want. Choose an idea that says exactly what you want. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to create? Then turn your idea into a statement. It's a sentence with a period, right? Use the first person, I, and avoid negative words. We don't want not, okay? Like um, you wanna speak in the positive tone. Write down your mantra and repeat and repeat and repeat. Okay, so here are some examples. I'm stressed out. Not a good mantra, right? <laughs> it's negative. There's no not in this word, but no one wants to be stressed out, right? So we don't even want those thoughts in our head all the time if we are stressed out. Instead, we wanna change it, right? We wanna say something like, I'm relaxed, I'm calm, I'm chill, okay? Um, so we never wanna think things like, I'm not patient. Yes, we want to be patient. So that's what the mantra has to reflect. So try coming up with your own mantras. Write it in the comments of the video and share with me, and uh, I would love to see what you come up with. All right, now we're going to talk a little about proverbs. So a proverb is a concise, a concise saying. Sorry, that's hard to say. Say it again. <laughs> a concise saying stating a general truth or piece of advice. When you give someone advice, it's like you're telling them what to do from your own experience, right? So they're kind of like words to live by. So a proverb is a famous one, right? A well-known one. Actions speak louder than words. Do, don't only talk about what you wanna do. Take action. All that glitters is not gold. Just because something looks really good doesn't mean that's the way it really is, right? It's kind of like maybe the grass is always greener on the other side, right? It may look good, but it may not actually be what it appears to be. If you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. Okay, so here, you know, doing things alone you might be able to get a lot accomplished, but how long will that last, right? That idea of community, of having your tribe, of being together will take you through in the long run. What do you think about these proverbs? Do you agree with them? Give me some information in the comments below. Okay, so if you like my video, give it a like please and subscribe to my channel. New videos are usually posted on Mondays. Comment below, ask me questions, I'm here to help you. And feel free to email me anytime if you want any more information or have any questions. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Ciao.